We're rolling. Now the clap is about to come in so Ant can fucking sync the audio. <laughs> We're live. Let's go. What's going on? Welcome to the Ant Isaacs podcast. Number Ooh. one, baby. Yeah, it's the first episode. Yup, first ever. The best ever. Yeah, this is going to be fun. Real fun. I love the talk, so. Hell yeah. I hope y'all love to listen. So you've been fucking up the fitness world, Ant. <laughs> yup, you know it. I love to work out, so. A lot of posts out of you. Of course, you got to run it up, man. Content is king. We say this all the time. Why is content king, my guy? Why is content king? Because if you want people to watch you, they need something to watch, right? If you want to spread that value Mm. that you work hard to attain and learn and show what you're about, you need to record it. It's like, it's like not even like people look at it like a chore, but it's like documentation. There you go. I could scroll, I could scroll down my Instagram, my YouTube, my TikTok and see where I started and how far I've come. Whenever I want. And it's great because it's like, oh, I made that video a month ago. I don't even look like that anymore. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's actually, it's great. I love it. (laughs) Yeah, that's fire. Oh, man. I'm getting another camera rolling. But, yeah, content really is king because if you have value, you can take a video and really bless someone's day, give them a tip, give them advice, put a smile on their face, and... You know, when you're blessing the world, the world is going to bless you back. So it's really a beautiful thing. And it's not like you're building a a fucking house or you're building a rocket ship or you're solving some crazy ass equation. Like you're just having fun with a with a video, with a friend. Yeah, exactly. And it's it's easy. It's just like, yeah, can you record this real quick? It's like it's real easy to get content too. Like it's not crazy. Like oh, I don't know how to take a video. Like bro, just take the video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just just record. You know, it's very simple. And also, like, when I've been very consistent and people see that and it's like inspiration to a lot of people. This is true. Like, I get messages, DMs all the time of people being like, yo, like, your journey is is crazy inspirational. Like, just the fact that you wake up every morning at 4.30 and go to the gym is, like, inspiring. Like, People have, yeah. like, I've gotten, I've had people tell me that they've, it's, like, inspired them to start working out consistently all the time, and it's changed their lives, and other people have commented on it, and it's just, like, crazy, like, it's just, like, there's no better feeling than, like, working hard, putting it out there, and it actually adding value to other people's lives, you know what I mean? Like, that's, like, what it's all about. Yes. So, it just makes me go even harder when I hear stuff like that. Yeah, because it shows you how... Your energy can really have an effect on somebody. Yeah, exactly. Like, seriously. Transfer of energies. Yeah. Like, you put out that good energy and people receive it. Not everybody receives it, but people who choose to receive it receive it and it can change their lives. Yes. You know what I mean? People, if you're wondering what's going on, I'm setting up another camera angle. Yeah. You're always, like, posting videos of you dancing and other stuff like that, but what really, what really was, like, what really got you into, like, making content consistently it it just became like you became used to it and we're like it was just it slowly became part of your routine did it was it a habit talk to me so what what got me to be more consistent in shooting my content is i i used to be inconsistent because i looked at it as a chore like oh i'm just trying to go viral blah 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 and you can't look at it like that like because it's really right. not like that like i don't even care how many people watch my stuff if if it if i get one positive comment back i'm i'm happy 10 views that's good that's great to me so like what changed in my mindset was i started perceiving it as like okay let me document document my journey express my value to the world and try to help other people because i get questions all the time so it's just like the more content i put out there the more feedback i get a lot of positive feedback and it just makes me feel good like you know what i mean like it'd be crazy if aunt isaac's just stopped posting like it's it's not a thing like you know what i mean like there's people watching me now and expecting things and people hitting me up encouraging me and then like the support just grows and grows and grows and it's just like a constant that the energy just flows and it's just good it makes you feel great like i wake up at four four in the morning to go to the gym i'm like let's go i know i'm gonna get some people sliding up on my good morning snaps like yo you're inspirational you're inspiring me i'm gonna go to the gym blah blah blah. how can i fix this you got any tips like it's just like let's go that's dope you know what i mean like let's go yeah and and also, like, the crazy thing is, after I started going to the gym in the morning, at 4.30 in the morning, I go with my buddy Zach. It's like so many other people started hitting us up, like, oh, 
can I come or blah, 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 and people will come with us or try it. And it's just like, man. And I've had a few people, not everybody is consistent with waking up that early, but I've had a few people that do it, and then it's like a change for them. It's like, oh, I feel great. I feel great. Because, you know, physical exercise, I don't know if you guys know this, but physical exercise literally physically makes you happier. Like, it releases dopamine when you exercise, and you become happier. You feel good when you work out, yeah. Like, it's a chemical change in your brain when you yeah. do physical exercise. Yeah. Like, it, it makes you happier. It's a fact. Mm -hmm. So, it's just like, why not exercise? You know what I mean? Even if it's just like 30 minutes, just go for a walk, do some push-ups, do some pull-ups, do, do some body weight squats. Like, you will feel better. You know what I mean? Like, it's not a question. You probably will. It might be... For some people, it might be difficult the first moments of getting to that point of going. But I feel like once you're like five, ten minutes in, you're like, I'm in there. Yeah. You got to start. You have to do. Facts. Big facts. Just do. Like You have to just do it. Just just do it. Like People yeah. people be negotiating with themselves too much. Don't negotiate mm -hmm. with yourself. Just do it. Just go. Oh, you want to work out? Don't ask how, why, where, what time. Just go. Like, just just go. You heard it here first. Just start. Like, Just go. You could start wherever, whenever. You could drop now where you're standing and do some push-ups, do some squats. Like, There's nothing stopping you, bro. It's all up here. This is true. So you got to make that mental perspective switch, you know, start seeing things different. So <clears throat> what I'm hearing a lot is obviously you waking up and staying consistent with, you know, working out, posting content and the overall discipline of it. It's built your discipline. Yes, 100%. And, and, and it started with just being consistent in my diet and exercise. But what waking up early every day has taught me, it, it built a certain discipline in that aspect. And then that discipline carried over to almost every other part of my life. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like from not having a disorganized room to um, making sure I meet a certain amount of videos or edit a certain amount of videos or shoot a certain amount of something. Or, you know, just different organization skills and, and staying disciplined in other aspects of your life. You know what I mean? Like, if you yeah. have to do something, just do it. Like, it's really helped. Like, personally, I used to procrastinate a whole lot. But, like, this building this discipline helped me to, like, okay, no. Like, come on. Let's, let's go. You mm -hmm. know? Just do it. You kind of... You kind of... You start to understand what your higher... What you know would be beneficial for your higher self. Yeah. And you and you can consciously make an effort to do those things. Exactly, it's you have to consciously make an effort. Like everybody knows subconsciously, like that intuition is your subconscious mind telling you, like you know what you got to do. Mm -hmm. Like you feel it. Like you know mm -hmm. what you have to do. People just like ignore it. They con It's a conscious decision to choose to ignore that mm -hmm. feeling, that intuition, mm -hmm. and not follow it and be like, nah, I'll just do it another time. Like no, just listen to yourself. Do it. You'll feel better if you just push yourself to just start doing the things that you know you're supposed to be doing. Even if you don't want to do it at first, once you start doing it, it's never as bad or as hard as you think it will be. Ever. You always over-contemplate. Mm -hmm. The longer you think about it, the harder you think it's going to be. Like, no, it's not that. It's really that simple. Just do it. Just stop making excuses. So how do you feel confidence has to do with all of this? So... This is, okay, so confidence. People, A lot of people don't even know what confidence, like, is. What do you think confidence is in your definition? So my definition of confi confidence is being able to trust yourself to do the things that you're supposed to do. You know what I mean? Like, in people who are so, not... So you're talking, now you're talking about, like, self-confidence. Right? Self-confidence, self -confidence. yeah. So a lot of people who aren't self-confident, it's because they don't, they know that they're not going to respect their word they know they're not going to do it they mm. might say something but they know they're not going to do it so they're not confident in themselves now is that self-confidence or self-respect though I, I think it's self-confidence to trust your word wouldn't that be like a lack of self-respect that i mean you're telling yourself you're about to do something you're going to do something and you don't do it does that have to do with confidence or is that self-respect i think it could go both ways both ways hand in hand maybe a little bit of both a little sprinkle of both on there yeah why not okay i mean because I don't know. I know I feel a lot more confident after consistently doing things yeah. because it's just like, I know. Like, I know I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. I know I'm on top of my shit. Like, I'm good. Like, I walk with my head high. Like, I don't walk with my head down like, ah, oh, I should have did that or oh, I could have did that or oh, I regret not doing that. Like, nah, I'm, I'm doing it. 
You know what I mean? I'm doing all the things that I said I'm going to do or I say I'm going to do, and I trust myself to live up to my word. You know what I mean? I like that. And it, and it makes you feel good about yourself. Like, you walk with confidence. And respect, self-respect. I agree with that, too, as both. well. Yeah. I was watching this. Uh, I was watching Sadhguru. I love him. He's a dope guy. And he had a cool perspective on confidence and how he was kind of saying like i don't want to put words in his mouth but along the lines of it's kind of more important to be to have clarity than confidence because you're saying confidence let's say like you can cross the road right and be fully confident like you're going to be safe but if you don't have that clarity of what cars are coming in on what side you might use just full self-confidence and cross the road and the next you know you get hurt because you weren't clear about the situation that's true. It's, it's it's because confidence is it's great, but clarity is also like really important to be able to actually see reality. Like yeah. it shouldn't be like a big deal to to start up a podcast or this this and that because it's clearly scalable. It's clearly beneficial to you and the consumer. Yep. What's the big deal? Yeah, exactly. It's clarity. I agree. Clarity definitely has a big part to do with it. Mm -hmm. Um clarity of like just what's actually what's possible yeah and that's what you're capable of yeah if there's cars coming from the left or cars coming from the right clarity clear mind seeing reality yeah seeing reality for what it is and a lot of people don't really do that a lot of people alter their own reality because everyone's yeah. reality is different yep everybody's reality is different a lot of people's reality is dependent on other people's opinions of mm. them which is also a big issue how would you say making content has switched over or maybe not switched over has affected your idea of your opinion about things and people's opinions about things? Okay, so Just, this this was actually this this is a very good question. So this is was actually something that I used to struggle with because my ego used to get in the way of me taking videos in public and posting them cuz I used to care what people might think, oh, so and so might unfollow me or not talk to me or not fuck with me anymore blah 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 and i started realizing something all these social media apps that people just post it's just like oh look at me look what i got blah blah it's all like just ego strokes you know what i mean and i don't care like i had to detach from a lot of that stuff because all of that stuff like being too egotistical and not being aware of it and caring too much about what other people think and their opinions on what you're doing with your life doesn't matter. That shit is going to stop and block so many blessings from you. And mm -hmm. I realized that I'm like, I don't care if I lose all the people from high school that follow me on Instagram because I'm trying to become a fitness influencer. Yeah. I've already replaced all the people who have unfollowed me with new people that support me that I don't know. Mm. You know what I mean? And more. Say that one more time. <laughs> he already replaced the people that weren't actually supporting or helping him grow with people that want to actually support. And I don't even know them. And he don't... So why why care what all these people that... I, I like to call it, like, refer to it as, like, your past life. Like, once you get over that bridge and you detach from a lot of e um, egotisticalness and uh, opinions and stuff and you let go of that and you really start focusing on yourself. It's like, why care about what they think about you? It doesn't matter. Most of them aren't doing anything anyways. Like... You know, it's like the people's opinions that should really matter are people that you can learn from. Like, okay, you got to look at people. And I'm not saying, you know, objectify people or anything. Like, everybody's human. But certain people just bring a different level of value to the table. And you have to be aware of the people that are bringing that value and the people that aren't. Most people don't bring a lot of value to the table. And you have to be aware of that. Like, why are you going to hang around with people who aren't posting? They don't really care about the future they don't have plans they don't know what they want to do on a day-to-day -day basis they'll they're unorganized unfocused like that energy runs off on you mm, it can you know what i mean and you have to be aware of all of that yeah and not really you know don't don't mess around with that stuff because that stuff's gonna stop you from if you want to grow from, yeah from blessings and growing and opportunity yeah. you're spitting facts my guy yeah of course i mean it's just how it's affected me so far. I mean, this is just my, my thought processes, you know. How about the people that... I want to say, I don't want to say like ignore the gym, but ignore the fact that 
your health, your activity. I want to two things: your activity level, like how much you're active per week, per day, mm-hmm. and what you eat, how it affects you, like mentally or physically. Both is hand in hand. Both. Yeah. Okay. So like, like how have you gone? Okay. How how would you say you going to the gym every day, every week? How much you? How many times are you going to the gym a week? Six. Six times a week. Yep. Okay. How has that affected your health? Like, let's dive in. Not like, oh, like I feel How better. Is, like, it's it is a direct correlation. I'm the best shape of my life. Literally, like I'm not lying when I say this. Every every two weeks to a month, I can look back and genuinely genuinely say I don't even look like that anymore. Like you know what I mean? Like I've made progress because I go so often and I'm so consistent. And it's diet diet and being consistent with your workout, which is big. They go they go hand in hand. You can't have one and not the other and expect and great results. You know what I mean? I it like just, that. It doesn't work because like that. eating is really important. Mm-hmm. What you, you put in your body, you can't gain weight if you eat, z- or you can't gain muscle mass if you eat zero grams of protein. The protein that builds muscle. You know what I mean? So you can't eat whatever you want and work out and expect great results. Did you also know that ninety five percent of your serotonin? Remember, we're talking about happy chemicals like mm-hmm. dopamine, serotonin. 95% of your serotonin, or around that number, I believe, that's what I've heard, that's what I've been informed, 95% of uh, your serotonin is produced from the gut. Okay. Meaning, when you eat food, if your gut, your digestive system doesn't like that shit, it's not meant for it, I'm assuming your serotonin levels will drop and you'll feel shittier. You ever eat shitty food? And yeah, don't get me wrong. For the first five minutes, it tastes great. Um, 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 Instant um, gratification. Instant gratification. But wait 10, 20, 40 hours, two hours late. Excuse me. Two hours later. Let's see how you feel. You you will feel like shit. Now, trust me. You will feel like shit. Yep. And it has a fucking direct. It has a direct correlation. Your... What, what were you talking about with how your, your like chemical reactions are going on when you work out? Same shit when you eat. Yep. Same shit with everything you do. Everything your energy is involved with. Yep. It has a it has a reaction. What you put out is what you get back. Period. That's what I when so, I was younger in high school I would eat anything. I, facts, mean, I didn't give a I, fuck. I used to eat fast food three times a day and I had a fast metabolism oh so I never my. really I never really cared. You know this. I had I was had a I had a Wendy's addiction, bro. Shit was it was terrible. And I stopped doing that and you just feel good like you don't feel fat, bloated, nothing. Your stomach feels great all the time. I swear to god, if I had like a fast food cheeseburger right now, my stomach would be fucked up for like 2 weeks. I don't even want to know what I feel like. I haven't yeah, eaten like, any of that that's, shit. In like very that long. that food is literal poison. Poison. Poison for the mind, poison for the body. Let's talk about that since you're in the fitness like Let's cut right to the chase. We kind of been there. Eating right yeah, but like eating <laughs> Let's say like fast food, for example, if you're on a road to being more healthy, me- better mental clarity, because obviously like, let's say you die, your mind isn't working, it's dead. Yeah. So your mind needs food, obviously, to operate. So it's hilarious to me when people are like, oh, well, I'm about to run three miles or five miles tomorrow, so it, it don't matter that I had this, this, and that yesterday. It's not about... Excuse me. It's not about burning off the calories or this, this, and that. It's also understanding that what you're putting into a body, into your body, affects how your mind operates. Yeah, one hundred percent. Because if you're not eating or drinking and getting energy into your system, you're not going to survive. So your mind is surviving off of what you put in your body. Yeah. You're eating Doritos and all this fucking nonsense. Like, your mind is operating off of that shit. Yep, it's not clean stuff. It, it's not shit your body wants. And I don't... I, I, like, it's, I like, that's it. <laughs> yeah, like, there's there's also... I mean, some people might disagree, but I, I feel and I've seen this in a lot of people. There's almost a direct correlation with having zero physical activity and having a complete shit diet, fast food... Junk food, whatever, the like high just sugar, not no fucks given diet, and anxiety and depression and a lot of mental illness. Of course, there's a direct correlation. It, it's yes, and a lot of people don't realize that. And once you get so a lot of people get into that state, and it's so bad that they can't even like see that. It's like how do you expect to be healthy and feel healthy when you do nothing to get healthier, and you're putting in 
tox, literal toxic in your bodies. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just like what what's going on in your mind, bro? You gotta you gotta take a step back and look at that. Like what what am I eating? What is my body and my mind running off of? And how am I exercising my body and my mind? That's why meditation is awesome. Like when you close your eyes and mm -hmm. breathe for 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 minutes, you get like you get a you get a, like a reset, you get like a break. Yep. Time to like relax and then you can come out of it and think maybe a little bit clearer about under and then it will start to happen naturally. Like you it, start you start to become aware of like where you're putting your energy into and what that's attracting, whether it be the food you're eating, your activity level, the people you're hanging out with, what you're consuming, all this stuff has an effect on you. I know. And it's it's actually crazy because like I started meditating. Obviously I've been meditating for a minute now. But it's like when you first start, there's obviously no immediate result. You're just like sitting there with your eyes closed, breathing. But once you do it and really try, like you got to really try. Got to let go. Like, yeah, you you start realizing like you don't even realize it, but you start just seeing things differently. You just start seeing the world in a different perspective after a while. You know what I mean? It's just like, hmm, I've been around that person, but they're they're taking me down. You know what I mean? Like. We've gotten uh, this, this, and this trouble hasn't really added nothing, you know, yeah. stuff like that. For example, who are I mean, yeah, like who are you hanging around with? Is one one example. When you hang around with someone, let's say you hang around with this person, uh, Johnny. Like when you're hanging around with Johnny, what does Johnny attract? Like when you're with Johnny, like what's going on? Yeah, exactly. Like if it's attracting negativity, nah, Johnny got to go. Yeah, yeah. And 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 there's and, you know there's it's not just only relationships, but there's other aspects obviously like yourself, like you start noticing a lot of things. Like for me, I used to have a lot of insecurities and meditation helped a lot with that cuz I started realizing like what? Why do I why do I care about that? Yeah. Like it doesn't matter. It doesn't. You just start realizing, you start detaching from a lot of shit. Mm -hmm. You start realizing a lot of shit that you used to think matters doesn't mean shit. Like, not at all. Like, I don't care what you think about me. I don't care what you think about this post. I don't care if you support me. Like, I got to do what's best for me to make me happy. Like, at the end of the day, you're the only person that lives in your body. Mm -hmm. You're the only person that experiences your life. You're the only person that lives your life. There's exactly. No other person that so lives your life. There should be no outside experiences that should be affecting how you live your life to be happy. You know what I mean? Talk to him. <laughs> Talk to me nicely or, or don't talk, talk at all. all. But yeah. <laughs> so I suggest y'all meditate because you might you might not see a difference for a little while, but the longer you do it, you will start seeing um, progress in your mentality and perspective on things. It's like the power of not giving a fuck. Literally. Literally. The, I mean, the power of detachment for political reasons, but yeah, that too. Not giving a fuck. <laughs> yeah, not giving a fuck. Mm-hmm. Literally, that's what it is. You just gotta detach. not care, <laughs> but like <obviously laughs> to an extent, to there's an extent, a, there's a balance. Because then somebody could be like, "Whoa, you're saying not care, but you're just being real conscious about what you eat and stuff, and blah blah blah." So like, yeah, there's a balance. Yeah, there, there's definitely a balance. I mean, not giving a fuck on the things that you know. If you didn't give a fuck about, they would help you grow. Exactly, they would enable you. Like opinions, right? Other people's opinions. The right? fuck it doesn't matter. No. Like, there's a lot of things that you realize don't matter. Right. So, you got to be aware of those things. Awareness is key. Aware of your surroundings, aware of your energy goes, aware of what you're feeding yourself, aware of what you're doing with your time on a consistent basis. You got to be aware of your habits. And a lot of people aren't, aren't aware of a lot of things that they do and people that they hang around with and things that go on around them and in their lives. And it's a direct effect of, like, you know, where they are versus where they could be. You know what I mean? It's wild seeing people's potential and seeing if they really started focusing on themselves and where they're placing their energy and stuff along those lines, how majorly different their lives can be for the better, if that's what they would like. Not, yeah. not everyone has the same goals as and everyone else, obviously, but... It's very true. People have... A lot of... People have potential... <laughs> Everyone has potential. Yep, everybody has something they can Every offer. Every second of the day, there's potential. There's something you can offer. There's value that could be provided. Yeah? Yeah, everybody has value. It's tough shit. 
<laughs> Let's go. What else do you want to touch on on the first podcast? This has been fun. I love this shit. I mean, yeah, it is fun. I mean, I think I feel like we touched on a lot. We can wrap up the first podcast? Yeah. I think we should wrap up the first podcast, the first Aunt Isaac's podcast. It's been an amazing Aunt Isaac's podcast. I fucking loved it. I had the time of my life. Yeah. I'm super you, hyped. You got to. We love to talk, so I hope you guys love to listen. Hell yeah. <laughs> we'll catch you guys uh, on the next podcast. Yes, sir. Very soon. Stay tuned. Peace out, people. Peace out. All love. Stay positive. Stay love and be aware. Stay positive. Stay love. Mm-hmm. Stay loving. Stay love. Stay love. St- loving. And stay lover. aware. And stay, and stay aware. aware. Bang, bang, bang. Boom. <laughs> We're out of here. Let's go.